The only media that I participated in or was asked to participate in when the book came out in January 2013, Larry Wright asked me if I would be willing to go to New York um, to do a segment uh, of some NBC show, Rock Center, I think it might have been. Um, you know, he said, you know, you're central person in this whole thing, you know. Um, and so, you know, could you, would, would you do that, talk about the book? And uh, I said, sure. And I don't even know if I read the book by that point. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. But in either event, um, I did. And I flew to New York. And uh, I spent an entire half a day with um, Harry Smith, you know, in this elaborate setup in some, um, it was down the street, for, it was like, it was in the Waldorf story, it was like this old historic room, library type of thing, and we were there for the entire morning and into the afternoon. Uh, in, the, in the entire time we were in there, Harry Smith was doing what Larry Wright had done with me a year earlier or two years earlier was to try to get this generalized statement that Scientology's tax exemption was fraudulently or illegitimately attained. And he tried angle after angle, and I'm like, it was like, to me, it was like Larry Wright redux. And I, you know, um, you know, Larry Wright had gone through the same thing with me, you know, and I went through chapter and verse and detail about, no, you don't get it. Yeah, yeah, there was some hardball played, but you don't get it. That's, you know, when the IRS um, is coming after you, um, you got to play hardball back or you, or, or, or you meet your demise, you know. You're getting all caught up in these tactics. The bottom line is, and the thing that they just want to write out of history is the two years. All the hardball tactics did was get us to the table, okay? And at that point, they held the cards and they held everything. And every um, anti-Scientology voice, um, every person who, was, who, who had been there for 20 years and had this deep-seated institutional bias, Every one of them was fully heard, and we had to answer to every one of them, okay? And for two years, we went through, you know, and I had to go explain this all over to, this, to Harry Smith. And Harry Smith is looking at me like, you know, he's pissed. It's like he's, you know, he can't believe that there's all this information coming out, and all he wants is to get in this the cut and print on, yeah, the whole thing was a sham or the whole thing was, you know. And so it just went on for three hours. And it did got to the point where it was, as it had sort of with, with Wright a year and a half earlier of this sort of testiness and disappointment. But, um, but that was it. And we finally finished. We got out of there. I couldn't wait to get out and get back home. So unsurprisingly, I guess, two weeks later, the show plays, and I'm not in it. So um, clearly, I mean, very clearly, that, that was the intent of Larry Wright having me go there in the first place. It was what Harry Smith was briefed on. It was what he was to get. And they didn't get it, so they just, they just um, cut it out. You know, just cut it. 